Good Friday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for March 28, 2014. And we're going to have some rain today, some warm temperatures out ahead of a cold front that's going to be pushing through. And uh, not a lot of rain today, probably just uh, about a half inch or so. Uh, but it will be affecting the area generally for the afternoon hours this afternoon and uh, wrapping up this evening across most areas here. Here's the GFS at 7 a.m. on Friday. Most of the precipitation is still from central PA on westward. Uh, but as we go to the next frame here, you can see in the afternoon, this is 2 p.m. Friday, and we can see rain across most of eastern PA, which makes its way into New Jersey, but kind of dies out as it does so. We're going to go to the... Uh, NAM high res, and this is uh, again, an indication of what's going to be happening by hour here. And this is 6 a.m. on Friday. Here you see most of the precipitation is still hanging back here uh, out by State College and west of our, or just the, to the western side of our coverage area here. And then as it moves, uh, it'll move east over the next couple hours after that. Here's 8 a.m., 9, 10, 11. And then noon, you can see most of the concentration of the heavy rain, heavier rain comes across uh, eastern PA here. Uh, but it does move out pretty quickly. This is all of, in front of the cold front. Uh, cold front still sitting back way back here uh, west of State College at this point at 4 p.m. on Friday. Uh, but all the precipitation that was out ahead of it will start to break up a little bit as it heads over to New Jersey here. So not as much rain in New Jersey. It looks like eastern PA gets the heaviest amount of the rain, again, closest to about a half inch, probably about a quarter inch over Jersey. And then uh, we go a little bit further in time here. Uh, the cold front itself, and it's very easy uh, to pick this out right here. Here's the cold front just like this. This is going to be pull, pushing through here uh, in the evening hours. And again, this is probably going to come through somewhere between 8 and 11 p.m. Could top, uh, from west to east and could touch off a of shower as it does so. So here's, uh, here's 8 p.m., 9, 10 and then uh, you're pretty much done here by 11 midnight it's already off the coast so uh, that's according to the NAM high res here we're not looking at an all-day washout here again uh, probably starting about 10 you know maybe late morning and lasting into uh, you know late afternoon or maybe very early evening uh, before it's out of here I'm going to go back to the GFS now because that is not this is going to be a one-two punch here is not going to be the end of the precipitation one right on its heels and remaining mostly cloudy on Friday night and then we're going to have another system here low pressure system moving in from the Tennessee Valley uh, moving northeast and you can see it's dumping uh, rain again again warm temperatures here uh, you know out ahead of it here so we're not talking about any winter precipitation and at least not in our coverage area. We have some here on the very northwest side here, but uh, not looking at anything in our area as far as wintry precipitation concerns. This will be all rain. Uh, here is Saturday night. We think it's going to be especially heavy uh, probably Saturday evening through the overnight hours, and then uh, uh, try at least attempt to push out on uh, Sunday here. Here's Sunday early morning and uh, Sunday afternoon. You see it's very slow to move away here. Uh, GFS is also trying to show put some snow back here. I really don't think that's correct, so... Uh, we're just going to ignore that for now. I think it's just pr primarily a rainmaker for our coverage area. Maybe far northwest areas might get into some uh, light snow here, but uh, for the most part, we're talking about a uh, non wintry precipitation event. So, uh, next six hours later, you see it hasn't really moved very much. It's now south of Cape Cod here, and then it pushes off finally to the east. And it's out of here. GFS total total rainfall here is actually putting down a decent amount of rain. Now this is encompassing both. Friday and Saturday, so or Saturday and Saturday night also, uh, but you see has has uh, general uh, two to three inch of rain amounts over much of eastern PA and New Jersey. Uh, again, uh, about a half inch or so of that over this area right here is from what occurs on Friday, and about a quarter inch of that over over this area is what occurs on Friday. So you take those out of that, you're still talking about. Uh, definitely between one and two inches of rain and we'll have to watch for possible flash flood watches and uh, or just flood watches in general issued from the National Weather Service and we if we do have any of those issues we will pass those along to you as we get back to the GFS here uh, for the rest of the week here we're gonna have a very nice warm-up here as we get into Monday and Tuesday next week uh, temperature is going to be surging into the 60s in many locations actually the majority of our coverage area will be in the 60s by uh, for sure by Tuesday and then uh, we're going to have a weak cold front that's going to push through. Very hard to see here uh, because you have uh, not a lot of moisture with it. But there's a system up here moving well to the north. Very weak cold front that's going to come through. Drop temperature back very slightly on, on Wednesday, but still remaining above normal, we think, as this uh, cold front moves through. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for Friday, March 27, 2014. Have a great Friday.